Are you looking to breathe new life into your home decor without breaking the bank? Well, look no further. In this DIY painting furniture tutorial, we're gonna show you how to transform an older piece of furniture into a stunning focal point for any room. So let's roll up our sleeves, grab those brushes, and get ready to embark on a creative journey of transforming an old wood bureau into a beautiful masterpiece that will leave everyone asking, where did you get that stunning piece? Get ready to unleash your inner artist and let's dive into this DIY painting furniture adventure. I took all the drawers out. I took all the hardware off the drawers. And now we're gonna come over here and clean this puppy up. We're gonna start off by using the surface prep, a scrubby and some rags, some cream rags. And you can notice all the dirt and grime that's on here everywhere. We're just going to clean everything up. Now you may decide that you don't want to take your drawers out. For me, it wasn't an option because this part would never be painted properly if I didn't take everything out. So I feel better about it, but you can do as you feel fit. All right, let the games begin. The first step in cleaning this dresser is to take my scrubby and the surface prep and give it a good wash over and scrub Rub it down really well, and just super dirty. Okay, this is my last drawer. Okay, I'm gonna show you what came off of my dresser. I don't know if you can pick that up very well. Pretty dirty. And this. And then, of course, I used a second one, and that's pretty dirty as well. All right, let's get painting. This is where the fun begins. All right, so the color we're using today is cashmere, and it's supposedly a true white. I've seen some of their examples. We're gonna load up the brush and And they suggest to do a small area at a time. That's what we're gonna do. Finish this area and then go on to the next one. Or suppose we have to roll it out. So this is what they call the ugly coat. And I'm gonna take my roller right here. Looks pretty good. I like that. I like the way it's looking. I'm gonna work on the top of the dresser. On to the second coat. Keep on working in sections, small sections, and do the brush and roll method. You can clearly see the difference between the ugly coat, the first coat, and the second coat. I have three coats of paint so far on my dresser and the drawer covers. And at this juncture, I wanted to share with you a couple of important takeaways that I've learned so far. 
Leave enough time in between each coat of paint to dry sufficiently. The manufacturer suggests 30 minutes to an hour because the paint does, it's a quick drying paint. However, if you're in high humidity areas, you need more time. And in between coat two and three, I didn't do that. And uh, you, you can tell the difference. Uh, no es bueno. And it's better to leave more time than you even think you need so that you can dry sufficiently, it looks great, and then you're ready for the next coat. Just look at this stunning transformation. From dull and worn out to vibrant and revitalized, this piece now shines with new life. It's amazing what a little paint and creativity can do. Whether you're a seasoned DIY enthusiast or a novice looking to embark on your first furniture painting adventure, remember the power to transform your space lies in your very own hands. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining me on this artistic journey. Your support, comments, and enthusiasm fuel my passion for sharing my artistic knowledge with you. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more creative endeavors, and don't forget to share your own stunning transformations in the comments below. I'd love to see what you create. Remember my friends, Every piece of furniture holds a story, and by breathing new life into them, we become part of their narrative. So go forth, embrace the power of color and brush, and let your furniture tell a tale of beauty and inspiration. Thank you once again for joining me today. Until next time, keep painting, keep creating, and keep spreading the joy of art in every stroke. Take care, and may your creative endeavors continue to bring you fulfillment and happiness. I'm signing off. It's Marcy Ziv.